guys, what's up? My name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel, Reading with Remy. Today we are doing an updated bookshelf tour because we now have four beautiful IKEA shelves. So we have lots of cute little displays and stuff. Um, for this tour, we're just going to be doing the books. Um, and we'll show you a brief overview of our Harry Potter display shelves because they're so pretty and everybody knows what Harry Potter books look like, so I'm not pulling the books out anyway. So we're just not going to touch those. But all the other accessories will come off and we're just going to do the books. Um, and then I'll put up like a knick-knack pop Funko tour later and I'll show you all of the pops and stuff that we have on our shelves. But for today we're just going to take a look at our books, so yeah, we're just gonna dive right in. So we're just doing a quick overview of this shelf. This is our um, TV seasons on DVD and our games. There's also some pop figures which we didn't bother to take down because we're just doing an overview. Um, Booktube notebook. And then this is just photo albums, um, some prints that we have, a couple journals, all of our coloring books. These trades are actually a friend of mine and he needs to come get them for me, but he won't tell me when to get them, so I'm about to call them mine. Um, these are my single edition comics and then I have a couple like um, prompt notebooks. Okay, so starting with our actual bookshelves now. Um, this top shelf is our Cassandra Clare collection. I'm not gonna pull them out because you guys should know what they look like, if not, reference almost any other bookshelf tour and you can find them. Um, we have Hercules and Coronation Pops on here. We didn't take them down because not pulling out books. So Infernal Devices series. Then we have the Mortal Instruments series. And then we also have Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows. First two in the Dark Artifices series. Cool. This shelf is our first Harry Potter shelf. Uh, this one we have the illustrated edition of Chamber of Secrets. I'm just going to briefly go over this because we probably won't include this in the knickknack because it's already set up. So we have Quidditch Ginny, a little pouch that says Brave and it's for Gryffindor. Luna with the lion head and then the Ravenclaw pouch. Um, Quidditch Harry is sitting on top of 1, 2, and 3. And then we have this cute little thing we got from Target. Um, this is also from Target. It's blocking your view. And then we have 4, 5, 6, and 7 with the time turn. It is a continuation of our Harry Potter series. So we have the um, a random assortment of the new UK covers. We're getting them slowly off a of book outlet. So we have two, three, four, and seven. Then we also have the uh, anniversary editions that came out um, in each of the houses. We have the Ravenclaw edition, because I'm a Ravenclaw, of the Philosopher's Stone. And then next to that, we have a box set of the first four um, original UK editions in hardcover. And we also have Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Tales of the Beetle and the Bard, and the Fantastic Beasts screenplay, all right there. Um, and then we have the film wizardry of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then our knickknacks on here, because I'm not doing it in the next video. <laughs> we have McGonagall, Remus, um, Hermione's Wand, which Hermione is displayed on top of. Uh, I got that from Universal, and it is the interactive because why else would you buy it? Um, and then we also got this from Target, and then we have Newt Scamander. Okay, and then this is our Rick Riordan shelf. Um, also not pulling these out because you should know what they look like, and also because I don't feel like taking stuff down, so sorry. Um, but I have all five of the Percy Jackson series, and then I have all of the Heroes of Olympus series, and I also have a second copy of The Blood of Olympus, which is the final book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I believe that's the UK cover. If not, it's just a really pretty cover I found at Second and Charles. Um, and then I have the the whole trilogy. I'm I have like missing one, and I had to think about it for a second. Um, the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy, and then the first two books in the Trials of Apollo series. Okay, so now we're getting into just our general books. So I'm gonna briefly explain kind of how we organize these for you guys. So. Um, they're in alphabetical order after the, the poetry books, so in front of that we have um, all of my graphic novels. Well, not mine. A couple of these are best. The majority of them are mine, um, mainly for my graphic novel class, because I'm an English major. Um, and then we go into the poetry books. In each of these sections, they're roughly alphabetized, not completely. It's more of a what looks best kind of thing, but the poetry books are alphabetized. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. it. Is the first two volumes of Black Panther, A Nation Under Our Feet. And then we have the first volume of Lumberjane, Kindred. Uh, this is a graphic novel adaptation 
of the book. So it's by Octavia E. Butlers. This gorgeous book is Neurocomic. We have Anya's Ghost by Vera Brog Brogs Brosgol. We have a bind up of the first three editions of Bleach. We have Sailor Twain by Mark Siegel. And we have the first uh, bind up volume thing. That's how that works, isn't it? Of Death Note. We have American Boy in Chinese. We have Bare Roots by Molly S. Hillary. And then I have For the Broken and For the Healing by Shania Lucas. That's one. The Light Filters In by Caroline Kaufman. The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. I also have The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one, but it's on loan to my friend right now. We Hope This Reaches You in Time by Samantha King Holmes and R.H. Sin. I Wrote This For You by Ian S. Thomas. Darling by Cameron Wade. The Coming by Renata Williams. Uh, Al Algodonic by R.H. Sin. Then this massive monstrosity is a beautiful composition of Broken by R.H. Sin. And now we're moving into just regular alphabetizing. So from now on, it's just mixed genre alphabetical. Of Down and Across by Arvin Amati. We have Simon vs. the Hope of Sapiens Agenda, The Upside of Unrequited, and Leah on the Offbeat, all by Becky Albertelli. We have Zenith, the first book in the drama saga by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Harry, A History by Melissa Anelli. Because You Love to Hate Me, a novel anthology by a bunch of YA authors, um, but edited by Amory. Then we have the Lux series, the bind-ups um, by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So there's Lux Beginnings, Lux Consequences, and Lux Opposition. Then we have the Dark Element series, also by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is White Hot Kiss, Stone Cold Touch, and Every Last Breath. And yes, it annoys the snot out of us that the second one's the wrong edition. Next we have The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout and Fury by Tracy Banghart. This is an Owl Crate exclusive. And then we have the Six of Crows duology and also the Language of Thorns, which all are in the same universe, so we're just gonna put them all together right now. So we have Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, and then the Language of Thorns, all by Lee Bardugo. The Traitor's Kiss and The Traitor's Ruin by Aaron Beatty. The Cool Prince by Holly Black. This is also a Owl Crate exclusive. And we have Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. A Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blinkman. An Inheritance of Ashes by Leah Bobette. Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. We have The Darkest Minds series by Alexander Bracken, including The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and The Darkest Legacy. Passenger and Wayfarer by Alexander Bracken. Michelle. We have The Princess, The Scoundrel, and The Farm Boy by Alexander Bracken. An Arc of the Whole Thing Together by Anne Brashers. The Diviners series by Libba Bray, including The Diviners, Lair of Dreams, and Before the Devil Breaks You. Anyone else irritated by how they're all different? Quit changing the cover! Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane, the first book in the Great Library series. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Walk on Earth a Stranger, Like a River Glorious, and Into the Bright Unknown by Ray Carson. Then we have the Selection series. Well, the first three books in the Selection series by Kiara Cass. I'm not pulling them out because they're really hard to get out of there. Um, but we have the Selection, the Elite, and the One. The Siren by Kiara Cass. The first three books in the Charlotte Holmes series. Thought it was a trilogy. Apparently there's a fourth one coming out. So... Um, a Study in Charlotte, The Last of August, and The Case for Jamie, all by Brittany Cavallaro. Time Bomb by Joelle Charbonneau. A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clouse. And we have The Hunger Games series trilogy by Suzanne Collins, consisting of The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. With Malice by Eileen Cook. Romancing the Throne by Nadine Jolie Courtney. Then we have an Owl Crate exclusive of Mirage by... Samadid. If that's wrong, I'm so sorry. Seriously, I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. The first two books in the Witchlands novel series by Susan Dennard, consisting of Truth Witch and Wind Witch. All exclusive cover of The Glass Spare by Lauren DeStefano. Entwined by Heather Dixon. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Then we have an arc of Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn. The Accident Season by... Maria Fowley Doyle, A Totally Awkward Love Story by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iveson, Ivory and Bone by Lee Eshbaugh, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher, The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick, Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie, and this is also an Owl Crate exclusive. 
If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman, Just One Day by Gail Foreman, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, So You Want to Be a Jedi by Adam Jewitz. That we have an arc of Chemistry Lessons by Meredith Goldstein. Another arc, Love and Other Carnivorous Plants by Florence Gonslavis. Finally on the shelf, we have Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. Come Back To Me, Run Away With Me, and Stay With Me by Mila Gray. Wolf by Wolf and Blood For Blood by Ryan Grodin. Invictus by Ryan Grodin. And The Walled City by Ryan Grodin. Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. The first two books in the Firebird series by Claudia Gray, A Thousand Pieces of You and Ten Thousand Skies Above You. The Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns, all by John Green. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. The White Queen by Philippa Gregory. Girl at Midnight and The Shadow Hour by Melissa Gray. A Little Something Different and Signs Point TS by Sandy Hall. And Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. My Lady Jane and My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. The Square Root of Summer by Harriet Hapgood. Bright Smoke, Cold Fire by Rosamund Hodge. Princess of Thorns by Stacey J. After Obsession by Carrie Jones and Stephen Wh Stephen Wydell. Elusive by Emily Lloyd Jones. Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Reign of Shadows and Rise of Fire by Sophie Jordan. First three books in the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa, The Iron King, the Iron Daughter, and the Iron Queen. The Illuminate Files series uh, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which is Illuminate, Gemina, and Obsidio. We have Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. The first and third book in the Starbound series by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. We have Catching Stars by Kayla Keenan. Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. And finally on the shelf, The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Even Now and Ever After by Karen Kingsbury. Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Okay. Hexed and Charmed by Michelle Chris. Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Pretty cool art fold of Jane Eyre that says read. The Disenchantments by Nina LaCour. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Hold Still by Nina LaCour. And then we have the His Fair Assassin trilogy by Robin LaFairs, Grave Mercy, Dark Triumph, and Mortal Heart. Uh, Alienated and Invaded by Melissa Landers. And Starflight and Starfall by Melissa Landers. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. We don't have it yet, but we will soon have the sequel to this, which is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, also by Mackenzie Lee. Under a Painted Sky by Stacey Lee. And we have Are We There Yet, Every You, Every Me, and Love is the Higher Law, all by David Levithan. The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. Warcross by Marie Lou. These are the first four, technically first three, and then the bind of, of some short stories of the Throne of Glass series. So we have the Assassin's Blade, and the Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Heir of Fire. And we have the last three that are out so far in the Throne of Glass series, which is Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and Tower of Dawn. The A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Maas, which you'll be happy to know I am reading. I gave up on Throne of Glass, probably will never pick it up again, but I am reading these and enjoying them. Uh, the first one is A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight. Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Maas, Wicked by Gregory Maguire, and finally, Wanderlust by Jen Malone. Yeah. Stalking Jack the Ripper series. Uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper, Hunting Prince Dracula, and Escaping from Houdini, all by Carrie Maniscalco. We have the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin, which is a Game of Thrones. Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. This is an advanced reader copy. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Um, then Save the Date by Morgan Matson. We have the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I'm not going to pull them out just because 
I feel like most people know what they look like and we have them turned in so it's kind of hard to pull them all out. Basically laziness, I'm sorry. Um, but I will run through them and so in order. The first one is Vampire Academy, then Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. Spin-off series um, by Rochelle Mead, that's the Bloodline series, and I'm just gonna go through them in order, because they're also stacked sideways and hard. Um, so the first one is Bloodlines, then the Golden Lily, Indigo Spell, Fiery Heart, the Ruby Circle, and Silver Shadows. The Falconer by Elizabeth May. The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. If I got her first name wrong, I'm sorry, I don't have the cover. I think she's getting it. And all this mine says is McGee. But I'm pretty sure it's Catherine. When Diplomat Rishi by Sinha Manan. Of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, which is Cinder, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, and a collection of novellas, Stars Above. Both volumes of Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. These are graphic novels. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Then we have the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. This is an Owl Critic exclusive. I See London, I See France by Sarah Milanowski. Nefertiti by Michelle Moran. Keepers of the Labyrinth by Aaron E. Moulton. Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. Instructions for a Secondhand Heart by Tamsin Murray. This is an advanced reader copy. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Life of Never Letting Go and The Ask and the Answer. The first two books in the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. This is Where It Ends by Marie Ninjkamp. The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. Then we have The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness. First four books in the Kingdom Keepers series by Ridley Pearson, Disney After Dark, Disney at Dawn, Disney in Shadow, and Power Play. He ran out of times to be at Disney. The Anna and the French Kiss series by Stephanie Perkins. Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. This is an Alcrate exclusive. And the pages are purple. Then we have the first five books in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, Frozen Tides, and Crystal Storm. Then we have the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. Um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, Library of Souls, and Tales of the Peculiar. Uh, the first and third book in the Cain Chronicles by Rick Riordan, The Red Pyramid, and The Serpent Shadow. Then we have the Jacoby series by William Ritter, uh, Jacoby, Beastly Bones, Ghostly Echoes, and The Dire King. Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. And the first two books in the Mark of the Lion series by Francine Rivers, A Voice in the Wind, and An Echo in the Darkness. We have Carve the Mark and The Fates Divide by Veronica Roth. Then we have the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and Landline by Rainbow Rowell. A Frozen Heart by Elizabeth Rudnick, The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski, Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan, Tonight the Streets Are Ours by Layla Sales. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. The Archived and the Unbound by Victoria Schwab. The Shades of London series by V.E. Schwab. A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. We have An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, and A Reaper at the Gates by Sabah Tahir. The Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, Long May She Reign by Rhiannon Thomas, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tishok, We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallish, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween, Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welsh, the Fill and Boyfriend, By Your Side, The Distance Between Us, and On the Fence, all by Casey West. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. Zeros by Scott Westerfeld. We have the Uglies trilogy. I refuse to accept extras as a part of this, so it is a trilogy to me. Which is Uglies, Pretties, and Specials, all by Scott Westerfeld. The Alchemy of Forever by Avery Williams. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. 
Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This is an Owl Crate exclusive. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabriel Zevin. The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. And then we just have these two cups that hold our bookmarks and a book outlet there. Okay, now we've reached the bottom of our bookshelves, so the angle is going to be a little bit weird. Yeah, and the organization's a little different down here. This is all of our children's classics and uh, like famous authors, classic works. So it's all kind of set up to look the most visually appealing, basically. Um, this shelf is children's classics, and then as we go further down it gets a little more skewed and I'll kind of explain what we did as we get there. Um, but this one is children's classics, so I'm just going to run through some of these really quick. Um, the series I probably won't pull out just because the box sets are hard to get into and the series of unfortunate events is stacked um, kind of precariously, so I probably won't touch those, but I'll run through them. Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. These are called the Chalkboard Editions. Um, we have the Chalkboard Edition of Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. An Owl Crate exclusive of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. This is the first book in the Land of Stories series. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. Oh. The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. Uh, I'm not going to take these out, but I'll run through them. This is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Uh, in chronological order, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. Actually, I'm sorry, that's not chronological order, that's release order. <laughs> Beware Princess Elizabeth by Carolyn Meyer. Holes by Louis Sechar. The 80th Anniversary Edition of the Mary Poppins books by P.L. Travers, which includes Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins Comes Back, Mary Poppins Opens the Door, and Mary Poppins in the Park. Loser by Jerry Spinelli, and Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. And then we have the series of unfortunate events. I'm missing book three, so I have The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, and then we skip to The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Ersatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, The Grim Grotto, Grotto The penultimate peril, and then finally the end. How fitting. Gotta love Lemony Snicket. And these are all by Lemony Snicket. Um, and then we just have this thing that holds some like playbills, a fan, and it's got Magnet McGonagall on the front because she's awesome. So the beginning of this shelf is like all of our art books or bigger collections. Um, by bigger I mean like taller or oddly shaped. And then there are a couple graphic novels before we move into more of like the adult classics. And then we have like a dictionary and stuff on the end because that's really fit best. Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan. The Art of Disney Gold Golden Books by Charles Solomon. My favorite picture book from being a kid, so it's on here. Uh, the Rainbow Fish by Marcus Bisner. The Complete Annotated Hans Christian Andersen Fairy Tales. The Roald Dahl Treasury, which is just a collection of a bunch of Roald Dahl books, short stories, not gonna list them all. Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm. The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. Graphic novels of the first two in the prequel trilogy of Star Wars. Episode 1, The Phantom Mentis, Mentis, The Phantom Menace. And Episode 2, Attack of the Clone. We have all three volumes of Alex and Ada by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. Um, and then we have... These are the Puffin and Bloom. We have the Puffin and Bloom classics. I'm not going to pull them out because they're hard to get out. Um, and they're really beautiful, so I'm sorry. I don't feel like pulling them out. But we have Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Heidi by Joanna Spire. And Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And then there were none by Agatha Christie. The Vintage Classics Edition of Persuasion by Jane Austen. Emma by Jane Austen, and Northanger Abbey, also by Jane Austen. These are editions that we got from Books A Million. I'm not sure what they're called, but there's a bunch of classics in this um, like set of editions that are all really beautiful. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, but Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte, Collected Poems, Prose, and Plays by Robert Frost. This is what I mean by random things on this shelf. This is the Beatles' complete court song book. The Blessings of Giving by Floyd Steiner Bell. 
the new International Webster's Collegiate Dictionary of the English Language. We'll probably never get rid of this dictionary, mainly because we've used it 800 times because there's names in the back of it, like, and we're writers, so. The Merrick Manual of Medical Information, Home Edition, I'm assuming it's by Merrick. I don't know. Someone gave this to me and I read it cover to cover and I'm proud of it, so I keep it. Okay. Uh, down on the end there we have The Beauty of Britain. I'm not gonna pull it out because it's huge. Um, and it's just a picture book of Britain. And we have this massive book, uh, The Bronte Sisters Complete Novels Illustrated. We have The Penguin Complete Novels of Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Emma, Persuasion, Northanger Abbey, and Lady Susan. Uh, this is a Barnes & Noble edition of The Arabian Nights, translated by Sir Richard Burton. Charles Dickens, four complete novels, including Great Expectations, Hard Times, A Christmas Carol, and A Tale of Two Cities. The Complete Poems of Emily Dickinson. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. <clears throat> the Collected Works of F. Scott Fitzgerald, including This Side of Paradise, The Beautiful and the Damned, The Great Gatsby, Tender is the Night and the Last Tycoon. We have a Barnes and Noble um, leather bound collection of Ernest Hemingway, The Sun Also Rises, For Whom the Bell Tolls, A Farewell to Arms, and The Old Man and the Sea. Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. Five novels by Mark Twain, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Princess and the Pauper, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, and The Tragedy of Puddinhead Wilson. Short novels of John Steinbeck. The Barnes & Noble edition of Jules Verne, including Five Weeks in a Balloon, A Journey to the Center of the Earth, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Around the World in 80 Days. We have the Library of America edition of Edith Wharton's novels. And the random thing on this shelf, Europe on a Shoestring. Okay, this one's at a weird angle because it's um, the bottom on the far corner and we have like a chair here, so it's kind of however we could get it in there. So I'm not gonna pull most of the shelf off uh, because a lot of it is just Bibles, um, but up front I have some like theology books. You're probably not super interested, so I'm just gonna run down the line really quick. First one is just um, some devotionals and then your first two years in youth ministry, you're already amazing, uh, Finding Your Voice by Natalie Grant, Living by the Book, by Howard and William Hendricks, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, Blue Like Jazz, and Searching for God Knows What, both by Donald Miller, Knowing God, and Desiring God, um, and then we just have some Bibles. I work at a Christian bookstore, so we have lots of Bibles. God, a lot of these are mine. I feel like I have a problem now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's about it. Restart. Okay, so that is all of our books. Um, we have a lot. I haven't counted. I have no idea how many we have, but we have a lot. Um, so yeah, that was really fun to film and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Um, stay tuned and I'll have uh, our collection of what we keep on our shelves, like all of our pop figures and our little knickknacks that we've acquired. Um, so that'll be up shortly after this one, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!